Hello and welcome to this video where I will demonstrate how to fix inverted or reverse normals for a surface inside Forte. First step, let's import our geometry. In this case, we'll be importing an STL file. So I will browse to my directory where my STL file resides, engine.stl. Forte will prompt me and ask for the units for the geometry. In this case, I know the geometry is in centimeters. So I'll just click OK. And now Forte will load the geometry. Great. Now Forte has loaded our geometry. We can see we have a single surface called engine. And we also have an icon for problem vertices. If we scroll out on the geometry, rotate it around, we can see where we have a surface Forte has identified as having some type of problem. Oftentimes, normals may be inverted or reversed. In Forte, for all solid parts, the normals should point out of the domain. Let's turn on the normals for the geometry. If I right click on the geometry node, select normals, I can now see the normals drawn on the surfaces and I can see all of the normals are pointing out except for this patch on the head. Now, we need to split off this patch in order to reverse the normals. I'm going to turn off the normals. Let's turn off the normals so we can see the geometry well. How can we split off this surface so that we can reverse the normals? If we select the surface, we can choose the split mesh option. We'll choose feature angle. Since these normals are reversed, we can choose a feature angle of 175. We can choose 175 degrees since the normals are pointing in opposite directions for this surface. We'll click OK, and Forte will split off these two surfaces. So now we have the main surface, and we have the surface with the inverted normals. I can then choose the surface with the inverted normals, and I can right-click Invert Normals, or I can choose to click the icon here for inverting normals. Now I invert the normals. I can go back and turn on the visibility for the normals. Now I can see the normals for this surface are pointing out. Let's turn off the normals again. But Forte is still showing that the geometry is open in this case. That's because even though we've inverted the normals and now they're pointing the correct direction, we need to join the surfaces together. We can do that under the Geometry tab. We have a Join tool. We can choose the two meshes. We can choose the two surfaces. Specify a duplicate edge tolerance. Now we've joined the two surfaces together. We can run the surface check again to check for invalid surfaces. We can see now we have no issues with our surface and our STL file is watertight. We are now ready to continue setting up the simulation and running it in Forte. Thank you for viewing this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact ANSYS Reaction Design by emailing reactiondesign-info at ansys.com. Thank you.